Hi, I'm Gregory Paolini, and in this episode of Table Saw Techniques, I'm going to show you how to make a classic raised panel solely on the saw stop table saw. So stick around. Most folks think that you have to have a router or a shaper in order to make a raised panel. And it's true that most of the time that's how people are creating raised panels. But you can create a fantastic raised panel using a quality table saw. Let me show you how. The first thing we'll want to do is measure for our panel size. We take the width and the length, and don't forget about the joinery. The panel needs to extend into the groove. This is going to be a paint grade door, so I'm making the panel from medium density fiberboard, more commonly known as MDF. MDF is notorious for sawdust, but the overarm dust collection on the saw stop really keeps it under control. The next thing we want to do is define the border of the field, or the center of the panel. We'll do this by making some scoring cuts on the table saw. Now I'm raising the blade to one eighth of an inch. I just want to make a small scoring cut, and I'll set the fence to two inches. I'm steering the panel with a couple push blocks. This lets me control the cut while keeping my hands away from the blade at the same time. I don't want to place my hand directly over the spinning blade. I rotate the panel 90 degrees after each scoring cut until I run all four edges against the fence. With my scoring cuts complete, I've defined the raised portion of the panel. Now I can move on to creating the bevels. The first step in cutting the bevels is to angle the saw blade to 10 degrees. For the next operation, I'm going to install this auxiliary fence. It gives me a little bit taller surface to rest the panel up against. Making the auxiliary fence is pretty simple. It's just three pieces of plywood, sized to wrap around the particular fence which came with your saw stop. Then the plywood is just screwed together for a good snug fit. With the auxiliary fence in place, I position it at 3 16 of an inch from the blade. To help ensure my panel stays snug against the fence, I'll use a feather board for even more control. As far as blade height, I raise the blade so it's even with the curves from our previous scoring cuts. And for added control and safety, I'm going to install this guide rail on top of my auxiliary fence. That'll keep the piece from dropping after we cut and also help us to control as we pass it across the blade. to cut. I'm creating the bevel cuts by standing the panel on edge. This doesn't provide much space for the panel to ride on the saw deck, so the featherboard, auxiliary fence, and the guide rail I just clamped on are critical to ensure safety and control while making these series of cuts. What you're not seeing is, after each pass, I remove the guide rail, rotate the panel 90 degrees, and reclamp the guide rail in place before making another cut.
That's it, a quick raised panel. Let's see how it fits in the frame. And that's it, a raised panel made solely on the saw stop table saw.